Hi everyone, Narelle here and today I'm going to bring you another favourites choice, no, people's choice, I forgot what I called it, uh, people's choice project where someone has chosen what I am to make, whether it be a scrapbook page or a card and then they choose three numbers between 1 and 42 and I don't reveal what those numbers represent but I have a list of techniques, products, tools and each of those has got a corresponding number so the number you choose is what I will use for the project. So um, today our project is brought to you by Joan. She's asked me to make a scrapbook page monochromatic using heat embossing and using the Cricut. So, sorry a minute, I just need to mute my iPad, because <laughs> I'm, um, yeah, anyway, so hopefully you won't hear me talking now, twice, and also while I'm on that um, topic, someone recently commented on a video that it was hard to hear me, so I've um, changed my setup slightly, I've added a microphone, and I'm hoping that the sound is better. I can't find that comment on that video anymore. Um, so I hope you didn't delete it. Please don't ever be afraid to let me know what you think. Um, I only like to do videos that people want to see. So if it's something that you're not interested in, or you want me to do something in particular, or there's something about my videos you don't like, whether it be the sound is too low, the lighting's too bright, the lighting's not enough, whatever it is, you want me to stop talking with my hands, I'm sorry, I've got Italian blood, um, then please let me know, because that's the only way I can change to do what you like so all right so anyway so I'm going to do a layout using these three things that Joan asked me to use and this is the photo I am using now this is a really old photo this is 1960s um, as you can tell by the houses the wooden fence the fibro houses um, these are all my cousins except for one. She lived across the road and up one house. And I wasn't even born in this photo. So that's how old this photo was. Um, he lived next door. That's my brother, my older brother. She lived next door. These three are sisters and sister and brothers. And they lived literally two streets behind us, directly behind our house. And we used to walk through the neighbors at the back and then around the street to get to their house um, and before um, it might have been in this stage I don't I can't remember it was either before I was born or when I was really little the house behind wasn't built so it was just bushland between our house and their house and you walk straight through the bush to their house um, but we had a gate in the side fence here and these kids next door we would um, be always in and out playing those are the days anyway so I came across this photo and I thought well this would be a really cool photo to do monochromatic and it's lots of great memories so I'm using a sketch for this all right so I've chosen this sketch here because it's really simple and the little people stood out to me here the man and the woman because I actually made little people to go with this photo using the Cricut. So that's the layout I'm basing it on. I'm using 6x6 paper, which I'll show you in a minute, and I've just put basically two pieces of 6x6 next to each other. That's what the layout is going to look like. Now, let me just grab some things. I have a mess, I tell you. I haven't even started. All right, so here's my base page to start with. We'll get that out of the way. Then, so monochromatic, the monochromatic is going to be all the blues so I have used here we go, the um, what's it called um, moody blues that's hard to read there the moody blues collection from uniquely creative and this is all blues and it's the six by six um, paper pad that I'm using and then I'm using all the embellishments in, well not all the embellishments but the embellishment pack that comes in that range so this is what's left after I um, took out a lot from the packet. I'll just show you roughly what they're like. So these are the type of embellishments that I'm using. 
you've got um, are they mandalas, flowers, butterflies. They're sort of all beautiful blue um, embellishments, and that's perfectly um, fine. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Words are hard today. Um, they suit perfectly, is what I'm trying to say. The monochromatic um, mood, tone that I need to do. I don't know. Words are really hard. And I'm sorry, my phone just cut out. I don't know why, but anyway. Okay, so then, so that's a monochromatic. Then I had to use the Cricut. So I thought I'll pull out these two cartridges, the Everyday Paper Dolls, or the Paper Doll Dress Ups and the Everyday Paper Dolls. And from them, I made these really super cute little people. And I thought, well, there's little people in my photo so they would be perfect in the layout. So I've got two boys and a girl. And I thought, yeah, that's perfect. And you know what? Every time I get my cricket out to play with it, I get super excited. And it's like, it is so, so old, but it still has so much relevance and you can do so much with it. So rather than buying all my embellishments, and even I've had a rethink of Creative Fabrica, which I know I've promoted in the past and said, you know, $19 to join, or was it really cheap to join there, $19 a month, you can get all the embellishments you want. The Cricut's even cheaper, you know, because I've got lots of cartridges, so I am sure that for most of my scrapping needs, I'm going to find something on these cartridges to make embellishments. So I'm going to force myself to use it more. So thank you, Joan, for choosing that number, even though you didn't know what it was, but that's really cool. So they're my little people. Okay, and then... I needed to do um, heat embossing. Was that her other option? Wait a minute, I've lost a bit of paper and I've forgotten already. I'm pretty sure. I'll do that. Okay, yes, heat embossing. So I had these little hearts, wooden hearts, if I can pick them up. I thought, you know, they would be good to heat emboss. So I've got three wooden ones here. But I also coloured three with the Misty Moonlight Stampin' Blends. And I thought, I'm going to heat emboss them in clear and see how they turn out. If it doesn't turn out, then I will heat emboss these in white. So I haven't done that yet. I'm going to do that now. So let me just grab my heat embossing stuff. So this is another way to get more use out of your embellishments and it's really super easy to do. I've got my clear embossing powder, my Versamark ink pad, which I'm simply going to, which one of them I didn't color very well, but we'll see. Okay, I don't know which side is best. I might give that another color. Because it's um, a bit of the wood showing in underneath. That's better. Second coat. So that's how easy it is to colour your wooden embellishments. Just be really careful with the tip that you are gentle because they will fray. But, you know, they're a consumable, so I guess you just buy them if they get too bad. Alright, and I'm a bit of a pedantic, so I've missed the little tip on that one. There we go. Alright, so now, you simply, you might get a bit messy if you do this. Just sitting, letting you know. You have to squish it into your ink pad and then you have to pop it off because it will stick to your ink pad and then just color each of the color I mean cover each of them with the clear embossing powder if you don't want to get too messy pick them up with tweezers right. easier said than done sorry that was really really loud right I'm going to move him aside Alright, so this is not the easiest thing to do, but if you don't mind a bit of fiddling, oops, I dropped it, then, you know, this is a really cool way to change your wooden embellishments. Let me just move my cardstock out of the way, don't want to get that all messy. Grab my heat tool which I didn't have ready, all heated up, and now it's caught on something. Oh dear. 
All right, here we go. I need something to hold them with. I don't want them to blow away. my finger in the embossing. Ah, oh, never mind, it'll be alright. I'm wanting to blow away. Let's put the let's put the speed down a little bit. This is just slower embossing on this setting but it's better than having them blow away. Okay, there we go. Um, all right, so there is our little embossed hearts. I don't know if you can see the shine on them. They are really cool. So that worked. So I'll pop them aside and try not to forget to put them on the final layout. All right, and then I have um, blue gems. And I also have this really cool die because the photo had you know picket fence it was in the 60s it's that time of or well, that era I knew I had a die of a fence it's got a bird and a birdhouse on it but I didn't let that worry me I just cut them off so I die cut it and then I snipped off the bird and the birdhouse and now I have my little wooden fence which is so that era all right so there are my bits and pieces I'm using and let's just put this together so the two papers that I've chosen are these dark blue spots and I'm simply going to pop them side by side I'm not going to worry I've got an embossing powder on this somehow I'm not going to worry that there's a line in the middle it doesn't matter so I'm just going to glue these down and I want it Oh, sorry, up from the bottom just a little bit. Probably too far up. Let's try there. Okay, simple as. Now I wanted uh, some washi paper, washi tape, sorry, told you, words are hard. So I found this Rose's washi tape, which goes perfectly with some of the embellishments that I'm going to be using that were in that pack. Look at that. I couldn't have planned that. Seriously, it was just so good. So I'm just going to pop the washi tape along there. Just like a bit of an edge to the paper. I've embossed my finger. And then down the bottom. I don't know if that is straight, probably not. And hopefully you can see that. It's a bit hard to try and fit in a 12 by 12 page in the screen. There's always a little bit that you miss out on. Alright, so now I haven't mounted my photo, which I should do. I'm 
I'm just going to grab an old card slot that I had for something else that I didn't want to use. So I'm going to glue this onto the cardstock. Not going to measure, but that's okay. I sort of got to know after all these years what an even border is. Oh shoot, look what I did. Oh no. Oh she tape got caught. Um what how my trimmer cuts the edge and where to put it in my trimmer. So I line the edge of the photo up with the edge here on the trimmer. And then oh gosh, I'll call that washi again. So then that normally gives me the right width that I need. So you get to know your tools. So I have a pretty even border around there now, which is good. And this washi, make sure it's stuck down because it's wanting to lift. Right, now my photo, I think I'm going to sit about there and I'll bring the oops, sketch back in. So that's the sketch. So they have two little photos. So I'm going to put my one photo where they have their two photos. And again, only glue in the middle so it gives you room to tuck anything you want to tuck in. Okay, happy with that there. Hopefully that's straight. Oh, I've got wash, I've got washy. No, I can't talk today. I've got um, embossing powder everywhere by the feel of it. Everything's got like a coating of embossing powder on it. All right, so just straightening up that photo. Anyway, I guess that's straight. <laughs> I'm not normally one to do straight. Why has everything got embossing powder on it? Oh my goodness. That photo's got embossing powder on it. Anyway, moving along. Okay, so in the sketch they have the title here. So in that pack of embellishments there was this. Remember days like this. Perfect. So I'm going to pop that there. I'm going to put a few things behind it. So I'm just going to place everything now and then I will um, glue things down. So to bring in the roses, tuck them there and then a little medallion there. Move that one around a little bit. All right, and that is where I'm going to pop one of these hearts. Then my subtitle I'm going to put, I'm going to try and cover this glob there. And there's nothing much in that photo at the top there. You can still see the house. I'm not covering the house. But they have a, on the, the sketch, they have a subtitle down here. I wanted to put my fence down there. So I'm moving my subtitle up here where they've got like this, um, embellishment section up there and then keep the theme of the roses happening I'm going to pop that under the photo there on the corner a little bit with my yesterday there and another little heart keep my heart theme going Now for my picket fence, which I'm going to put down here on the photo just a little bit. And my people, I've got to have my little people. So I think I want them sort of like touching that cluster as well. And then having the little girl. Down here front of the two boys, something like that. They can even be a little bit more staggered, I guess. Now over here, I need something over here. 
So my one, two, third cluster, I'm going to pop here. And just have, maybe I should do that. No, I might have the doily at the front and just have the roses. And I've got another blue heart. Go on the top there. I think that's pretty much it. I don't see anything else on my desk that I had put aside ready to use. So that's pretty much it. And then I need to just add my um, blue gems. So I'm now going to stick things out. I'm happy with um, how that's sitting. I need to bring this little dude down a little bit because he's covering my cousin there. So we might move you over a tad. There you go. How cute is that? I love that photo. So now... When I go to stick things down, I just do one thing at a time. Sometimes I'll actually leave them where they are in place, lift up a little edge, and then glue them down. Oh, there's a hair on there. All right, so I'm just going to tuck that there. Okay, I love pre-made headings and embellishments like this. Makes it so quick and easy. And then my little blue heart. I coloured both sides of these hearts in case I didn't like one side. Or I stuffed up the embossing, which I did. And I probably should have done the other side. But anyway, emboss the other side of that one that didn't work. That's okay. Oh, that's not going to stick, is it? May need to use glue dots on that. I'm just going to leave that there and see if that grabs. Okay, so now I'm going to move these little people and I'll start with this. I want it like a diamond maybe, not a square. Now the flowers can actually go over the photo a little bit, I think. when I put things back after I've lifted them up to um, glue, they sometimes don't go back in the same place, but that's okay. I would really like them. Top, there we go, like that. Remember days like this. And... I think we're going to put our little love heart here. Oops, that's a lot of glue. Oops, that's going to ooze out. Oh, all right, I'm going to sit that there. Fingers crossed it doesn't ooze too bad. It's oozing. There we go. Wiped it off. Okay, now our little people. These are so cute to make. So it's just the body and then you cut out the hair and the clothes. Really cute. So we're going to pop him there and the next one there. Now I'm not putting a lot of glue on things. You don't need to go overboard with the glue. That's enough for things to stick. I don't want it oozing. Right, so now I need to put the fence next. So again, I've cut this fence out of scrap cardstock that had something on the back of it that I didn't want to use anymore. So by the time it's glued down, no one's going to see that it was um, recycled paper or cardstock. Okay, and then this little dude dudette I should say okay 
Danny. She's going to go down here. All right, and then And then our last little part will go on this embellishment. And then, last thing is these gems. And I don't know which ones to use. Maybe the lighter ones so they stand out a bit more. Now, where do I put them? I struggle with this bit, you know. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, oops. Oh, I didn't stick. I just realized she's got a white eye because it's on the fence. Never mind. <laughs> then I think I just need two over here. That's probably way too many, but you know, it's all okay. All right, there we go. Now, my journaling will sit down here, probably, or maybe up here. I've got a little bit of space up here, but then you're not going to see that washi, are you? So, perhaps I could even put journaling down here. The kids can be standing on the journaling, but I'll work out where to put that later. But there we go. So, that's my people's choice number four, I believe. And that was a request from Joan to do something, um, a layout that's monochrome. This is all blues. Now, when you do monochrome, you're allowed to add black and white um, and neutrals, basically. So I couldn't have black. I didn't want black hair because there's only one kid that has black hair. The others are all brown and, and blonde. So I chose a neutral for the hair. Um, so that's my monochrome, all blues. Heat embossing. I did that on the Love Hearts and then Cricut I used to cut out the little people. So that's my layout and I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you'd like me to do a People's Choice card or scrapbook page for you, then just comment below. Tell me whether you want me to do a scrapbook page or a card and then choose three numbers between 1 and 42 and then I will do your project. and you'll see it on my channel. If you've liked this video, please like, hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I hope you've enjoyed this. Until next time, take care, have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye bye.